scandals that you and I have seen. It's a centipede that the shoe continues to drop. It's not going to be over until every aspect this is, of it. This is uh, Brutus McCain, one of the most deceitful men in the history of the U.S. military. To stab the commander-in-chief in the back like this when he knows he's lying through his teeth. He's doing this simply because Trump put him down during the campaign. What a sick, sick, sad man. McCain. He was the he was the dumbest of the McCain fa lineage. The grandfather was a great admiral. The father was a fine admiral, and McCain was the dummy of the family. They pushed him into um, uh, the. I think he went to Annapolis and came in last. And then, of course, he had this disastrous career in the military, where he set off the Azuni rocket on the deck of the USS Forrestal by pushing the wrong button on the deck. He almost sank the ship, blew up airplanes, and killed. Dozens of people died because of McCain. He's still pressing the wrong button. He is still pressing the wrong button. This man is an embarrassment. But uh, he's not the issue. What comes next is the issue. The, uh, the diminutive polyps in the media are all saying, impeach, 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 when they know that they can't impeach him. It's impossible. There's no way it will happen. All they want to do is stop his agenda, damage the repubs for 2018, and stall any investigation of Hillary Clinton and her uranium deal with Russia. Needless to mention, the crimes and misdemeanors committed by Barack Obama creating the largest surveillance state in the history of the world. I can go down the list if you'd like, but that'll never happen. Look, the first rule that everyone learns in grade school is the best defense is a good offense. Let's just lay it on the 